Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. This is Unit 1, Lesson 3, Reasoning to Find Area. The objective says I can use different reasoning strategies to find the area of shapes. Find the area of each shaded region. Show your reasoning. So the shaded parts are going to be all the parts that are blue and not the parts that are white. So we're looking to find the shaded region for A, B, and C. We want to find the area, so let's remember what area means. So area is the number of squares of the exact same size that covers a two-dimensional region without any gaps or overlaps. So no holes and no uh, crossing parts, overlapping parts. So I know of a few strategies that we've practiced so far that, uh, for finding the area of shapes that aren't rectangles. I'm good at finding the area of rectangles, not so much if it's not a rectangle. But I can use strategies to help me form rectangles or other familiar shapes that I know how to find the area of. So three of those strategies I can use is I can decompose the shape into something that I know. So I can decompose into rectangles, for example, because I know how to find the area of rectangles. I can also decompose and rearrange into shapes I know. So not just cutting it into pieces, but rather cutting it into pieces and moving some of those pieces around so that I create shapes that I know how to find the area of. I can also consider it a shape with a missing piece. So I can look at the whole thing and then look at the parts that aren't there. So I can consider the blue section and then take away the white parts that aren't really a part of that shape. So with A, I'm going to use that first strategy. I'm going to decompose into shapes I know. I'm going to break this little set of stairs, or whatever you want to call it, um, into some rectangles. So I see a division here and here that would split it into three different rectangles. Is this the only way I can split it up into rectangles? No. But when I do that, then I can use an array to help me figure out the area faster um, by finding the area of each of these rectangles and then adding them together. So that first rectangle has 10 squares in it, that second rectangle has 8 squares in it, and that last rectangle has 4 squares in it. So when I add 10 plus 8 plus 4, I get a total of 22 square units. Could I have counted each one of those blue squares? Yes, absolutely. Is this process faster for me? Yes. So I'm going to use that more efficient method of decomposing into rectangles and then finding the area of each of those rectangles and then combining it together. For shape B, I can see that that is a large square with two small white squares removed. So I'm going to consider it as an entire shape. So that square is a 6 by 6 square, so that means there would be 36 blue squares inside of it if everything was shaded. But we know that those four squares and these four squares inside of those uh, smaller squares are not shaded. So I have to take them away from the 36 that would have been the whole shape. So I'm going to take that 36, subtract those four squares each, or eight squares total, and I'll get a, an area of 28 square units. For shape C, I don't know what to do. This has one, two, three, four, five sides. It's a pentagon. Looks kind of like home plate, but not quite. <sighs> I'm not sure. So I'm going to look and see if I can decompose it into something that I know. If I cut off that top piece, I see a rectangle on the bottom. And I'm, like I said, good at finding the area of rectangles. So I can see that's a two by six rectangle. There would be 12 squares inside of that part. And I'm left with a triangular piece on the top. Hmm. Well, I could cut that triangle in half, and then I can rearrange. So I just decomposed. Uh, I can now rearrange the parts so that I put to the two triangular pieces together, and now I have that rectangle that's two by three instead of two triangles side by side. So I've got a rectangle that's two by six and a rectangle that's two by three. So that entire shape that pentagon has an area of 18 square units. Again, our objective says I can use different reasoning strategies to find the area of shapes. So I can decompose, I can decompose and rearrange, I can consider the whole shape and then take away the pieces that aren't there. And there are lots of other strategies that you might employ to find the area of shapes that aren't familiar to you or that you don't have a formula for yet. Thank you for watching.